Hi Oxtel Ontario, it's Muzi here again with another science experiment video. Today what we're gonna do is make a beautiful rainbow in a glass cup. Stay tuned to see how I can make that happen. So the materials that you're going to need for this experiment are quite simple. You just need five glasses or um, clear plastic cups. You need some food coloring. Here I'm using blue, green, red, and yellow. You need um, a tablespoon, some water, and lastly, some sugar. So let's get started. Okay, so originally we had five glasses. What we're gonna do is first put one to the side. We're going to line up our four glasses like this and we're gonna add differing amounts of sugar into each glass so for the first glass we're going to use our um, tablespoon and measure one tablespoon to place in the first glass and in the second glass we're going to do two tablespoons and in the third glass we're gonna add three tablespoons. And you guessed it, in the fourth glass, we're gonna add four tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so here I have my four cups the first one with one tablespoon of sugar, the second one with two tablespoons of sugar, the third one with three tablespoons of sugar, and the fourth one with four tablespoons of sugar. Now that we have all the sugar in our glasses, we are going to add the water. So in each of the glasses, we're gonna add three tablespoons of water. So now that we've added our water, we're going to stir until the sugar dissolves. So if you notice that after a couple minutes of stirring, the sugar isn't really dissolving, what you can do is bring the cup to the microwave and microwave it for about 30 seconds and um, the sugar should dissolve by then. What you gotta do is make sure to let the solution cool down before we use it in our next step. And this will prevent you from getting burned by the hot solution and it allows our experiment to go smoothly. So after a couple minutes of stirring, I realized that some of my cups, the sugar just wasn't dissolving. You can still see the sugar at the bottom. So I'm going to bring it to the microwave. And here it is after 30 seconds. Be careful, it's a little bit hot. And now I'm going to try to stir it again. And as you can see, after being in the microwave, the sugar is mostly dissolved and I'll just wait for this to cool down before I move on to our next step. Alright, so now we are ready to add our food coloring into each of the glasses. So in the glass with the smallest amount of sugar, we're going to add red. And in the glass with uh, the second smallest amount of sugar, we're going to add yellow. And in the third glass, we're going to add green. And in the glass with the most amount of sugar, we're going to add blue. So this is what's going to end up being our rainbow. And if you want to add more colors, that just means that you're going to um, add more glasses with different amounts of sugar. But today we're going to use only four colors to make a four colored rainbow. So I'm just adding two to three drops of each of the food coloring into uh, the glass and letting it mix and that will be good. Oh. 
All right, so after I've mixed the uh, solutions, these uh, colors are ready to be made into rainbows. So because we added different amounts of sugars in each class, the density of each solution is different. And density is how packed something is. So the more dense a solution is, the more heavy and compact it is. And now we are gonna take our densest solution, which is our blue, and we are going to pour it into our empty cup and we're gonna fill it about um, a quarter of the way. Okay, so now that we have our densest solution already poured into our glass, we're gonna pour in our second densest solution, which is the green one, and it had the second most amount of sugar in it. So what we wanna do is to gently pour it onto the top of our blue layer. And to do that, we need a tablespoon. And what we're going to do is place it right above the, um, the blue liquid facing down so that you're pouring your green uh, solution onto the back side of the spoon so that it can gently flow onto the top of the blue layer. And we wanna do this so that it doesn't disturb the blue layer and that we can see two distinct layers, on, one on top of the other. And now we're gonna repeat with our yellow solution and our red solution. All right, and here is our finished product. Here we can see our rainbow more clearly. We see the red at the very top. We see our yellow and then the green and then the blue at the very bottom. Look at that, how beautiful. So that's it for today's science experiment video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you guys can recreate this for yourselves. So I'll see you next time, goodbye.